Today's video, we're gonna talk about drop shipping, and I'm gonna teach you a couple strategies regarding drop shipping. We're gonna see if drop shipping is right for you and right for your business. Once again, my name is Justin Morris, and I'm the founder of Freedom Wave. I believe that Freedom Wave is probably the easiest way to get your business online and to get your business online success right now in the digital age. We could help you build a dropship website and you could have it done in a day or two. And within just a couple of days, you could start making a residual income off of your dropship website. In today's video, I just wanna to talk to you guys about what dropshipping is. I wanna give you some of the pros and some of the cons regarding dropshipping. And in one of the future videos coming right up, I'm gonna take you guys step-by-step step how to actually build a dropship website using a Freedom Wave technology. All right, you guys, so a dropship website. So dropshipping basically means that you're selling a product that you are not carrying in stock. So you don't have the product in stock. It's not on hand with you. When somebody places the order on your website or through your sales funnel, you then send that order. Okay, let's let's step back a little bit. Let's say the product costs $100, all right? And out of that $100, say you make 50% of that. So then you made $50, okay? So so you would then if you took that $100 order, you would then order the product from the company that you have a relationship with that has agreed to allow you to drop ship products. And what happens is you pay $50 for that product, they ship the product, how much money do you have left over? You have $50 left over and you never even touched the product, you never saw the product, you didn't have to go to the post office and ship it, everything else is handled by the, the other company, okay? Now, drop shipping is a way that people have made millions and millions of dollars, okay? And it's a way that you can start a company with very little overhead. So a lot of times people will say to me, Justin, you know, I, I've had this dream to start this company and I'm really passionate about this specific thing, but I don't have the money. I don't have the money for the inventory and things like that, right? Well, with Freedom Wave, you can build a dropship website at a really reasonable price and you, if you can, have a relationship with a company that will allow drop shipping, then you don't have to have an inventory. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Some of the largest companies in the world right now, in the whole world, started out as drop shippers. And not only did they start out as drop shippers, but many of those companies are still drop shipping, okay? I'm not gonna name any names, but there are some big ones out there that are still drop shipping and they're making not millions, but billions of dollars doing it, okay? So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna pick something that you're passionate about, something that you've maybe you've always wanted to do. For me, I'm very passionate about fishing, okay? So a great dropship opportunity for me would be if I had a fishing website, which I do, all right? And maybe a fishing YouTube channel, which I do, and some fishing sales funnels, which I also have that, and if I could partner with a lure company or a fishing rod company or something along those lines, okay? And, and I say, hey, what I would like to do is I would like to advertise your products, I would like to create sales funnels, I'd like to create websites, but each time I place an order, I just wanna send that order to you and I would like you to drop ship it to my clients, to my customers. And then there'll be some money left over for me, okay? Now, that is, in a perfect world, that's how it works. But now there's a couple things we need to think about. Not every company will allow drop shipping and some companies will do drop shipping but they won't do blind drop shipping. So what that means is if they don't do blind drop shipping, let's say, let's say my name is Justin Morris. So let's say I own a company called justinmorris.com and I'm selling um, fishing lures from a company called Rip and Lips. Rip and Lips. That's a good name for a fishing lure, Rip and Lips. That might already be a lure out there. So if it is, cool. Um, so if they don't allow blind drop shipping, that means someone thinks they're buying something from justinmorris.com, and then what happens when they place the order, they get their package in the mail, and the package says from ripandlips.com, and they're very confused. They don't understand that. So in a perfect scenario, it would be great if you could set up blind drop shipping, okay? Blind drop shipping. Another thing, there are a lot of places out there that will provide you with lists of drop shippers. They'll provide you with companies that have drop shipping. There's even services where you can pay a monthly fee and you can, you can have all this access to all these products that you can drop ship on your website. In my um, research that I've done, and things that I've tried in the past, I would say 
stay far away from those companies, okay? Those companies are really set up to make money for themselves. The profit on the on the, the margins is very, very low with most of those companies. There might be a good one out there right now, so if you know of a good one, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. There's a lot of good t-shirt companies out there. There's a lot of good shirt companies, apparel companies, where they'll they'll drop ship shirts for you, and a lot of those are really good. So you could start a t-shirt business and in your uh, an apparel business or um, with your own company, you could sell t-shirts and things like that and, and people could buy it off the your website and they'll drop ship them. There's a lot of good apparel companies out there, but when it comes to companies that provide you with lists of things like electronics and appliances and things like that, and then they offer drop shipping programs, most of those that I've found to be kind of shady, not very good, the profit margins are very low. Your best bet, okay, your best bet is to go to a company that you feel good about and you approach them on a personal level and you work out a special deal. Let's try to get 40 to 50%, okay? So let's shoot for a high profit margin, all right? I've, I've talked to some people that do drop shipping and if it's a really large product, so like say it's a, it's a lot of money and now you're getting 10% off the sale or something like that, it could still be very beneficial. But if you're dealing with products that are in the $100 range, $200 range, uh, I think you're gonna try to wanna push for the 40 to 50% because typically a wholesaler is gonna make around 40%, sometimes even 50%. So approach those companies, try to try to create a relationship and try to get them to do blind drop shipping for you. Another thing that, a hurdle that you might come across as a drop shipper is returns, okay? So you're gonna need to know with that company that you approached, you're gonna have to have a very good understanding of how are we gonna deal with returns, all right? That's really important because remember, you're not shipping the products, okay? And, and I worked with a dropship company once and we were shipping lots of stuff and everything was going really good and all of a sudden the company was shipping wrong items and then people tried to return them and then you know it, it all came to me because they all, they all believed I was the person sending the products. So you're gonna to have to have a very good understanding of how do we deal with shipping. All right, how do we deal with returns? And then another huge thing is how do you do, how do you deal with inventory stock? So I've also run into this product or problem. You see, if you have an e-commerce store and say you built that e-commerce store using the technology that we provide in Freedom Wave, or maybe you even bought or you purchased an e-commerce store somewhere else, or you, or you built one on a different platform, either way, you cannot keep track of, well, there might be some ways, but it would probably be very challenging for you to keep track of the inventory because the main company is keeping track of their inventory and if they go out of stock, how are you gonna know on your website that it's out of stock? There are some programs that link the two, but that, that can be very challenging to do. There can be a lot of custom coding. There can be a lot of issues with that. So you have to know how are you gonna deal with out of stock products as well. So that's another thing to think of. So as you're thinking about your dropship journey, don't let those things that were small negative things um, kind of make you feel like it won't work for you. Those are very minor things. Figuring out the shipping, getting a personal relationship with somebody so you can get that 40 to 50% markup. Um, dealing with returns. Those are all very minor compared to the huge amount of wealth that you can make in drop shipping and not only can you make a huge amount of wealth in drop shipping, but it's a very, very small risk to you. All right, you guys, we'll continue this drop shipping series and we'll go over how to how to specifically build that drop ship website. But for now, once again, my name is Justin Morris. I am the founder of Freedom Wave. We're the easiest way to get your business online and get you online success.